I'm going to try drawing something Renaissance type. Uh, of course, uh, you know, this is on YouTube. You already know what I'm going to draw. I don't, I'm not sure yet. Um, doing this just from something I remember. Let's see. Let's see. If this is Renaissance, then the neck has to be to the side. Uh, let's see. Of course, uh, I'm drawing this freehand, which, according to Aaron Rutten, is impossible for me, because according to him, I'm not an artist, because I copy other people's images. <laughs> and I think he means because I clone sometimes and of course i clone sometimes this is coral painter coral painter is about cloning and coral painter also happens to be the one program software program he promotes all the time yeah I, he likes to uh write to me and make videos about me basically he's pretty much a mean guy you can't tell on his uh youtube channel you know the one where he talks like a robot yeah, he's pretty a mean guy and anybody that doesn't use his methods are not artists yeah, he made this video because I was cloning and he's like you're not an artist because you clone and then he saw on my Facebook page that I mentioned that I'm legally blind. You know, it's easier for me to paint cloning when I'm legally blind. And in the video he says, stop telling people you're legally blind. You're trying to get sympathy so that they will buy your art. Really? basically a mean guy. He, he did a recent video about uh, bigots. Yet, he's the biggest one. When I said to him that I didn't like his style of painting, he called me a homophobe. I had no idea what me not liking his painting style has to do with somebody's sexual choice. But that's him. He, listen, when he's not on YouTube or his uh, Pay Me channel, um, he's a pretty mean guy. Come more out more like anime than it is a renaissance, but you know, I'm drawing it from memory, so I'm doing this on a separate layer because I might paint under it afterwards.
He was writing so much hatred there for a while about me that Cole Painter told him to stop and to take it all down. I mean, it was like on all art web pages like uh, DeviantArt and stuff. Made a video and put it on YouTube. Uh, he's a pretty, uh, he's a bigot. He's, he's a bigot and he attacks people with disabilities. Well, let's see, what do we think about this? Get rid of some of this. Um, this is the eraser. Oh, here it is. It's not bad for a legally blind. Oops, I said it again, Aaron. A legally blind artist. Of course, my nose is right up to the screen because I can only I can see very, very little. My eyesight is like you closing your left eye and looking through a tiny straw in your right eye. I think this could be close to Delphi Cassibyl and the Sistine Chapel. I have to make these eyes smaller. Let's just raise this eyebrow. Michelangelo did a lot of round faces for women. Let's see if I use. The sergeant's brush. And let's just try the blue. Find it, Aaron Rutten. This major ego guy. Major. I first got a clue of it when I noticed that almost every one of his videos, he has a distracting little window there that shows him, shows his face while he's doing something. And it's like, well, what's the point of that? Well, how is that? got anything to do with the painting that he's doing or trying to show and then in one video which he took down I think because I can't find it anymore he claims to be the new Bob Ross of digital painting <laughs> I don't think so Bob Ross had a great personality and was a great artist and uh, didn't have the ego of every other day painting his own portrait and changing it. Yeah, I can understand Aaron's frustration though. He's out there. He tries to sell, you know, um, t shirts with his picture on it and nobody buys them. So I can see where he gets a little angry. I think this should be higher. Oh, I don't have any room left.
You can find me on Facebook under TC Churchwell. Look me up. If you want to see that video of uh, Aaron Rotten degrading me, be happy to uh, send it to you. Let's see if we can make these eyes blink. Kind of echo the color of the headdress. And we'll make her skin totally white. I can't make the brush bigger because the screen thing is in the way. Keep moving his screen capture. Go back to this blue. Yeah, so he tells me, don't talk about you being blind. Which is funny, because this guy talks about himself and everything he buys every day. Every time he buys something, he says, I'm going to unbox this. And this is how I use my new Wacom. He reminds me of a teacher that I have that used to say to me, don't sign your artwork. Because when you sign it, then people know you didn't do your artwork. 
because you're like, all right, you did it so that you'd get your name recognized. Really? That stuck with me since I was a kid. I hardly signed my artwork. I, uh, I signed my photographs. I don't sign my uh, artwork. Hardly. I have signed my artwork, but hardly. He's basically, the art teacher was basically saying, well, you go to an auction and a guy just puts up a painting. People will stare at it. Even if it's a good painting, they'll just stare at it. Nobody will bid. And then the moment the guy says, this is by Picasso, everybody's hand goes up. And that's what he means by don't sign it. You don't want people buying your art because of your name. You want people buying your art because of what you did. Make those lips a little red there. Well, there's a, just a quick sketch thingy from my... Oh, wait a minute. I think... could use a little kick up here. We do. Yeah, I just suggest to people who are going to do tutorials to do two things. Don't talk like you're reading a damn book. And don't put your little video of your face down at the bottom. It's distracting every time you move. And there's no point in it. I know you got an ego. I understand the big ego. You got to see your face down there. But it's not necessary, you know, if you want to put it up, put it up for a minute. You know, put up a picture or something and say, hey, this is me, and then go to uh, your tutorials. The tutorial is about whatever it is that you're working on, not about, hey, look at me, I'm down here. <laughs> Anyways, um, cool. Bye.